to meet the other thing that brought you to went into the shop coming to start the game. When you came back to have the last thing. So it was that was that was probably she was that received Either in death or could get caught. Was there any other person in the house you could join? Did you see any other person in the house? A friend. I don't know if it's very professional. At least 5.7 minutes. Some of them sweating and maybe they were fighting when they saw me. You came out and saw them. They were frightened. Yes, they were sweating. What do you think? Them to the and I saw Joanna open the gates. After opening the gates, she drove out with her friend's car. At the gates, I was in jail. So, how can I feel these girls, two girls, Nora and the other girl? I don't know what there was a day I, I was on a date with Nora. I noticed that uh, Joan was not comfortable when uh, I keep on seeing no, Nora. So we were to have the date in one in that house. When I got there, it was a gory sight. I saw Nora in the floor. Thank you. 
Who's that? Hey. Hi. Ah, fine, Daddy. Are you good? Yeah, hi. Alright, please come on. Okay. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. Let's look at the Morris. He's here to investigate the disappearance of Avon and Joe. Oh, detective. You are welcome. Ah, thank you, madam. And I hope you will give me the needed cooperation. Sure. Yes. Sure. In that case, let's get down to business. May I have a word with you outside, madam? If you don't mind, Dr. Craig. Excuse me? With my, my wife in private? Yeah. Private. You don't want me? Uh... No, 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 not at all. Hmm? Just. Okay. Can we go now? Um, madam. I want you to be giving me precise answers. Is that okay with you? Yes. Okay. Now, as a visitor in somebody's house, do you think it's wise for the visitor to leave the house without informing the host, no matter how urgent the situation could be? Do you? Officer, if you ask me, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to say in this one. Mother, did you ever suspect any quarrel between your husband and Eva? 
None that I am aware of. Did you ever skip your mind that Eva had gone? No. So what was the news, Yvonne? Got from the parents and what was her mood before she left? It was pretty bad. It was very, very bad. So where were you the night your husband received a strange fake call? Um, I was out. With who and uh, in whose place? Some friends. In Lydia's place. So why would your friends visit you by that time of the night? Why? Officer, for crying out loud, these people are my friends. They were my friends. Did you just say where? I mean, um, Noah was inside with Johnny. So did, 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 did your friend bring any car? Yes. So why would you live with your friends and the car? Who opened the gate and who drove the car? Lydia drove the car. The car is for Lydia and that's why she drove the car. I followed them because we wanted to go and hang out. And then Joe opened the gate. So what of Nora? Nora was inside with John. She didn't go with us. Why? Because she wanted to stay. She didn't want to go out with us. Oh, so, madam, you, you heard voices in the house and you did not even deem it necessary to find out what was going on. Because I do not want to disturb their fun, like I said. You visited your friends the same night they visited you. You left your car. Followed them in their own car. What's the rationale behind all this? Um, we went out together and then I wanted to pick something from the supermarket and she decided to drop me off at home. That's why she, she brought me back. Okay. So was there anybody in the house when Ivan left? Joe. Joe was in the house. Was Joe. In the house. Okay, Joe. So, was there any problem between Lydia and Nora? No. So, have you ever, have you seen them? Have you ever seen them after that night? Have you seen them again? No, I, I've, I've not seen her. Listen, listen, officer. I've been traumatized. I'm still trying to figure out what has been going on all this while. I do not need friends around me. So, don't you think, I mean, you know, I'm thinking that Lydia is escaping being caught. Officer, did you say being caught? Yeah. Is that something you're hiding from me? I mean, tell me, I can take it, okay? Is that something you think L Lydia is? Oh, not at all. Never mind. Never oh, mind. Okay. So, please, uh, madam, may I have um, the phone that was picked from the visitor's room? May I have it? Oh, the phone? Trust me, I've been looking for this phone all this while. I, I don't know where I kept it. I don't know where I kept it. I, w I was looking for it so I could try to see if I can get a useful information about Yvonne. So yes. why, why, why didn't you pick the call that day? The call that came to that phone. Why didn't you pick it? I don't pick people's calls. Do you? I see. You don't pick people's calls, I understand. Anyway, thanks very much. You've been most wonderful. Thank um, you very much. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, um, Inspector. Trust me, you've been wonderful. If there is anything, you let us know. You are, you are such a wonderful man, trust me. Uh, oh. I'll, I'll get back to you. All right, hmm? sir. Let me say hi to your husband.
so scared. Take your hands off me. Shut that by Yes. You bitch. Why did you take it all this Subsequent events that happen in that house you know, is a puzzle to me, and that is why I have come to see. How? Days back, my girlfriend Violet told me that Joanna and her girlfriend assaulted her. Assaulted her? They assaulted her sexually. Assaulted her sexually? What's the meaning of that? Wait, wait, wait. Does it mean she's a lesbian? She's getting interesting. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. more. What followed was quite absurd. Oh, what was that? When I accosted Joanne, she told me that my girlfriend Violet insulted her and the husband. Two days ago, I had a text message from my girlfriend apologizing begging me to forgive her that she lied against the assault just for her to clear up her face. And when I confronted her yesterday, she vehemently denied of the text message. What has she even told me that she was attacked? Attacked? Yes! Um, I was so pissed, I was so angry, I never even gave her the mouth to express herself. I had to walk away from her. Look. I want you to think deeply. Think. I need clues. Think. Anything that can give me clues, no matter how small it is, I need clues. Think, think, Johnny, think. I remember one night when Joan was seeing my friend off. She was the one that opened the gate herself. And from that day till now, we can't see our good man. He's nowhere to be found. That was the last time you saw the good man? Yes. Tell me more, tell me more. We are trying to get somewhere. Tell me more. I also remember that the day freezer 
in the kitchen. Go on first, then the freezer open. Why? She said she misled the keys. And she will have time to do for it. You, what of the spare keys? Does it mean she doesn't know where the spare keys are kept? She said her husband kept the spare keys and she doesn't know where he kept it. Go on, go on. So by, by the time I came back to the house, the toilet was open. She has cleaned it up. She even perfumed the, the, the toilet. I even came back and met her with wet clothes. So I asked her, she said she was still cleaning up the room, the, 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 the toilet. Really? Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. Office. Detective. Yeah. I have said everything. From the ones I have said, what is the meaning? Johnny, like I always tell you, whatever you tell me is of utmost importance. With time, you will know the meaning of all these things you've told me. But I need to tell you something. You need to be very careful. You need to watch your back. Because you know too much. Do you hear me? Thank you. If you suspect anything, just call me. I will do just that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mom, please pull yourself together. together. Why do not know what has befallen my only daughter? But you can't conclude like that. Yvonne has not left this house for two days without calling this house. She has gone out for two weeks. Two weeks without calling. <laughs> Mom, so I'm a poorly disturbed. Just I'm trying to be a man. And you think that will save the situation? Working yourself up will not save the situation also. Let's let us do something. I'm very worried. Let us do something before it's late. I think we are raising a false alarm. False alarm? Of course. False alarm. Now I can see that you don't have any family for your sister. Hey. How could you say so, Mom? You know I love her so much. It's just that the way you are going about it is the wrong way. The best thing to do now is to pull yourself together so that we can go to the police and make an official report about her missing. Let us do something before it's late. Joanna and her friend harassed me. The harassment was too much there. I couldn't stand it. I... <laughs> I couldn't stand it. I, I had to leave but as I was going out. I, I I met Johnny and I told him everything. So did Johnny believe you? He did, but he seemed skeptical. I didn't know if, if he was fully convinced about all I told him. So... What happened afterwards? Johnny confronted me yesterday. He told me a strange story about me sending an apology test message concerning that incident. He was so angry that he, he, he didn't even allow me to talk. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. I, I'm just so scared. I don't know. Scared? Why are you scared? I was attacked. By who? A man and a girl. Okay. Hello. I I I, 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 Take a deep breath. Hmm? Relax and talk to me. Pull yourself together. Hmm? Just talk. Good. Good. The lady. 
the lady, the lady pointed the gun at me. Why? Why was the man was raping me? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. I'm, I'm very sorry. So, after the rape, what happened? Did they steal anything from your house? Anything? <laughs> your laptop, your phone? They didn't take anything. So, so... By what time? By what time did you say they sent the test message? <laughs> That's about 11 p.m. 11 p.m.? 11 p.m. Hold on. Yeah, hello Johnny. How are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay. Yeah, I've been meaning to ask you. What time did you say you, you, you received that test message from Violet? Ten fifty-seven. No, there's no problem, huh? I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you. Uh, cheers, bye. Smart ass. Why? The rapist and the girl, they were on a mission. The rape was just a distraction. What? They tried to distract you so that they could send the test. That was what happened. Anyway, thanks very kindly, Violet. You've been so wonderful. Thanks for the information. And don't be scared. Huh? If you notice anything, just call me. Alright? Okay. Let me drop you off to your house. Huh? Thank you, sir. Oh. 
That is a private question. Detective, the idea is saying just because I like it most. I give it to my husband whenever he wants. It's okay, I don't want to be a problem. I don't want to be a problem. Come on, man, I want to thank you. Oh my god, I am so sorry, okay? I'm, 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I want you out to have to drink. Um, just, uh, I was just trying to this. For a glass of cold water, okay. All right, I will get you. Yes. I look here, madam. Is this happening to the matter? Are you okay? Maybe that shouldn't be a problem. These things, you know, how you know how these things work. It could be compulsive behavior, low ritual, you love, if you forget you love. Yes. I wanted to prepare a very fast food for my husband. And then 
It's really hard for me to get out. So I was looking for the key, I couldn't get it. So I had to force it Don't tell me you are that careless one. Of course you don't. Not really, but I was in haste. Oh, yes. Well, they preferred forcing me to open that, you know, to get in a little bit of a chance to open it for you. Like you said, it was very late. How do you mean? Okay, let me refresh this. Dr. Craig, how would you describe your wife's sexual orientation? Excuse me. What, what relevance does this have with the case at hand? Dr. Craig, in the course of investigation, any little detail Information is very, very important. So, with due respect, I want you to answer this question. How would you describe your wife's sexual orientation? Let me confide in you. As a detective. My wife. My wife is most rigid. I mean, it's... I don't know, it's, it's crazy. We've had quarrels and quarrels and quarrels over the same issue. In fact, since I've been with her, the best time we ever had was the day Yvonne left. Now, this is getting very clear. You came back that morning. She confronted you with the news that Yvonne had left. And before you could even say Jack, she offered you sex the way she has never offered you before. Dr. Craig, don't you think that that was most unusual? Oh, very unusual. What would you say about her friends? My wife's friends? Oh, she... She has a lot of female friends. Dr. Craig, don't get this the wrong way. Have you ever imagined that your wife could be a lesbian? Excuse me. Dr. Craig, are you aware that your wife and her friends sexually assaulted Violet, Johnny's girlfriend, the day she came to your house? Are you aware of that? What? Of course I am not aware, and that is bloody disgusting. How did you get that? Don't get your trousers off yet. The worst is about to come. Are you aware that your wife forced your deep freezer open? No. Are you aware that the toilet of your visitor's room was locked up the day Johnny came? And your wife claimed she didn't know where the spare keys were kept. I later found out she lied because that same door was opened when Johnny went out. I'm not aware, you're just telling me. Are you also aware that your wife brought Nora, Johnny's most desired girl, to sleep with him that day? Are you aware of that? Not rubbish. What rubbish! Come on! Don't get excited over this. Johnny is a young man with lots of vigor and active testosterone. Oh, that's by the way. 
Now you received an emergency call. Fake call. That never existed. Am I right? Now, Dr. Craig. Is it not obvious that somebody wanted you and Johnny not to be aware of something that was going to happen that night? Oh, jeez. Look, Mr. Detective, at this point you are getting me more and more and more and more confused. Can you just break all these things, please? No, 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 no. It is very clear. Very, very clear. Now, your visitor must have suffered the same fate as Violet. Maybe along the line things got messy. Joe? Lydia? Got missing. The deep freezer? And everything assisted. You were made to leave the house. Johnny was distracted. The deep freezer was broken, maybe out of nervousness. Lydia and Joe, who knew lots of things, were eliminated. Johnny was threatened because he knew lots of things. I was threatened. Nostina was probably forced to make that call. And later, she was murdered. Dr. Craig, whoever this culprit is good at leaving no traces. And prima facie, the culprit is very obvious. But you must play very smart. Very, very smart. Okay. So, who is this smart, no traces? Regardless of situations of things, that is the reason I came to say thank you to you. I mean, it, it's not easy, you know, to, to, to do this kind of job willingly from your heart. You know, it's, it's, it's not easy. Enough of this! What is wrong with you? I've had enough of your stupidity. Detect. Why don't you have any sense of this adventure? Don't get away from my office. Get away from my office before I do something drastic. Get away. Now. Well, you can only take the horse to the river. But she will never force the horse to drink water. I will get out. Just to get away from here. Someday, you will stop me. Stop me.
Detective, what is going on? Huh? Come on, talk to me. I need answers. What is going on? The last time I spoke with you, you sounded clear. You sounded sure. You sounded definite. You told me that there's an insider in my house doing this. And I said, fine, fish him out. So I've given you. You told me you're going to fish the person out. What is going on? Calm down, boys. Come on. I've told you to calm down. Give me some time. Oh, Jesus. How much more time? Huh? Is it when I die? You want me to die before you realize the seriousness of what is going on? Huh? People are dying. We are talking about human lives here. First it was Ivan. Ivan disappeared. And then Joe, my gay man, he disappeared. Then people have been dying. Lydia, Tina, and every... The list is endless. What is going on? I understand how you feel. But like I said, give me some time. The, 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 these things are more complicated than I had to put. You! Mr. Moore, it's you! I spoke with you and you made me understand that you are just as complicated or even more complicated than this case! I understand how you feel. I do. But like I say, I need some time. I'm giving you my word. I'll get to the root of this. I'll get to the root of it. I'll find out who is behind all this. The only thing I will do is to put some officers from the branch office here eh, to map surveillance on this house so that nothing happens to you. That is just a thing. So relax. They will be here. If anything goes wrong, just one call. And then I will be here. Please.
He was an idiot. He came at the wrong time. And Johnny? Johnny was too smart. Johnny was too smart for my liking. He was sleeping around. He was sleeping around. He wanted to know everything. And Yvonne? You mean you killed Yvonne? Answer me! Why did you kill Evil? You've got so much blood on your hands already! Why did you kill Evil? Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! L listen to me. 
that you know I love you very much, right? I cannot hurt you, you know it. I just want to sign a check of 10 million naira for me. And then I will live your life for good. Tell me. Just tell me. Listen, by this time tomorrow, I should be in the aircraft heading to the United States. I, I, I just want I just want to stop up and live life over there. I, I don't want to hurt you. I'm tired of killing. Can you just tell me? I deserve to know I am your husband. Why are you doing this? Shut up! Oh, you. You must just sense this. Did you hit me? You hit me? Huh? Bitch! That's what you are. Listen. It's okay. Just give me, give me the money and then. I will close this whole thing. Listen, I leave no traces. I don't need leave traces. Surprise, you see me? Surprise, surprise. You tried. You wanted to kill me, but you forgot to admit that. I wore a bullet in it. That was one. No, ma. And I told you no. to stay in the car. Wait. What are you doing? I with told you to stay outside. Why did you come in? No, ma. What are you doing with a gun? And she stayed here. And she got behind me. Don't trust her. She's not the normal no. use. No. Listen, if you try to do anything stupid, I will cost you. No. Just do I do you know me, right? You know what I'm what, what, what are you doing here? How did you get me? I've been looking for you all over the whole place. No, no. Just see you. I'm disappointed in you. And your mother brought you up well. Yes. Why? She will be crying in her grave right now. No, 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 those girls will kill me in school, please. Please now. Please, please, please. I'm begging. Yes, sir. Why are you going to tell your fellow girls? I don't like people with a fear. I don't like people with a fear at all. Trust their child. Don't fear your fellow girls. So what make I go fight those small girls? What make I say them go ahead? Into the fear. Yeah? Don't worry. You come by tomorrow. I will train you. I will teach you. If you go there, go to fear your fellow girls now, huh? I will show you what you go do there. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, Oga. Thank you. We are coming tomorrow. Come to book clubs. Yes, sir. Here, here. Come to book clubs. Thank you. Thank you. Me, I did not forget about you. You know, the kind of work I do keep me very I don't even have time for myself. Oh, That's what you say all the time. You don't even have time. You don't you've even forgotten that you have an auntie. Auntie, I, I, I cannot forget you. It's not possible. Huh? Let me believe you. Okay. Let me get you something to drink. No, oh, Auntie, don't worry. No, I just took a day off from the office. So it's to what about food? food? No, you know I'm not the food type. No. Hmm? I just eat all these formal foods. You know? no, I never married her. No, this is not good for you. That's why I said you must get married. You have to find no, a woman. No, no, no. Just give me between now and December. Mm. Uh, 
make sure our oh, marriage <laughs> don't, don't worry, that is not a problem. And Monty. You know, normally I don't come by this. You know, I, I came for something very, 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 very important. Very, very serious. Mm, no, it sound too serious. Yes. What is it that you want to find out? Where did you get this picture? <laughs> look, look, look at him. He's trying to, to claim my brother. Yes. You are not my brother. I am the only child of my parents. So don't stand there and claim to be my own brother because I have no brother. You hear me? You have. Yes. You have a brother. He is your half brother. Your father married two wives. Yes. He's my least. Joan, what do you think along the investigation I visited? I had the opportunity to take you down. When I found out you were behind all these murders, I did. I started digging into your past. I came in here when nobody was around and I saw a picture of Auntie. So, Joan, don't make me kill my own sister. Put down your gun. You don't know what she is saying right now. It's going to make me want to come down. Hell no, I won't. No, look at me. Am I not your auntie? Please, I'll put you down. Sit down, please. 
My dear, look at me. I'm nearly down for you. Put down your gun. Please, my dear. Please, never put down the gun, Norma. Please, put down the gun. Please. Please. Go ahead. Please, please, Norma, please. Look at me now. I'm not your auntie. Drop the gun. Oh, please. Oh. Um, um, where are you going? Oh, uh, I want to see a friend, I have a movement with a friend. See, you can't continue standing here, okay, on the sun. Let me just give you a lift, okay? I don't want to bother you. You're not going my way. Where I'm going is closed and my car is going to be. Listen to me. Regardless of what has been happening around, okay, I, I, I do not want anything to happen to you. You will be safe in my hands. Why don't you just come in so we can go? Yeah, I know. But I still don't want to stop you. Know, Trust my me. Way, my way, so you will be way. safe. You will be safe. Why don't you just come in, please? Well, if you insist, I will have you. Okay, come in. Since I got married to your brother, I've always liked you very much like my brother-in-law. And I would not want to hurt you in any way. You don't want to hurt me. You're bringing me to this lonely place. Look at everywhere. It's so dry. I'm scared. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit at all. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I, I brought you to a lonely place. I, I just want you to do me a favor. What, 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 what's the favor? Just die.
Come on, I will finish. Match this guy. Come on, come on. Come here. My boy. Mama, join you with Kaiwa. Guy, where's this guy now? Where's this guy? 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 This guy. Why? This guy is my classmate. And so? This is what This guy helped me wear my school. Yeah. Listen, my man. I can't go see My man, you know the reason. I know. Yeah, where's this guy? Yeah, where's this guy? What's the bomb there? I can't go see this guy. No, come on. No, scope. I can't go see Guys, where's this guy? No, come on. What's the reason? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Are you surprised to see me? Surprised to see me? I know you missed me so much. Ah, you! I made sure you died. Now, on your knees.